So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Check this out. The only shovel I ever liked. So last night I needed a shovel and I went into the shed and I discovered I still had my favorite shovel that I ever had. As many of you know, I was a blaster for years, probably 25 years. You know, I blew things up for a living and you drilled holes and you would stem those holes so the holes would have cuttings all around them you know the whole size it would range anywhere from three and a half inches all the way up to seven and seven eighths inch diameter most of them being anywhere from five and a half to six and three quarters so around the hole you'd have a big pile of cuttings and you'd have to shovel them back in the hole after they were loaded so we use shovels a lot and this one here i don't know what it was it's just light. It's, uh, I don't know. I just always like this shovel. As you can tell, this is like paper thin right here. And this one was probably only used, I don't know, I probably used this for maybe two years. I'd go through one about every two years and it would just wear them out. So we did a lot of shoveling, but uh, yeah, quality shovel right there. Not a real big one. You don't want a real big one. You want something light. And this was the ticket right here. But anyway, enough about that. I'll show you what we're getting into here this evening. And by the way, I can't describe just how beautiful it is out today. I mean, the weather has just been fantastic. Look at these clear blue skies. The leaves this year are the best that I have seen in probably a decade. Uh, I mention it all the time. There's a lot to complain about in the year 2020, but the weather hasn't been one of them at least where i live it's been beautiful but anyway i got started on this last night i'm putting the drains in for the uh, downspouts now i'm using four inch schedule 40 pipe and i did the calculations that is plenty of pipe for this one side of the building once i get down past the backhoe i'll tie the other one into it so it'll be half of the building will go into this downspout and unless I'm totally confused, according to my calculations, it will be plenty big enough for the amount of rain that will hit that roof up there. Should work out really well. And what I'm doing here, too, is uh, I'm using 2A limestone. Kind of put a little bit underneath the pipe, backfill it with it. It's just better, and I don't have to worry about it. You know, I got the good pipe, backfilled right. I'll be able to drive heavy things across here if I need to or whatever. But I just want to do this one time and not end up smashing a pipe. Now last night I only had about an hour or so to work before it got dark, uh, but I got at least this much done. This evening I should get to the end of the building no problem at all. I'll be using the uh, Kubota BX23S, the BT603 backhoe, perfect for this type of work. Obviously it's not going to dig as fast as like that Kubota KX80 excavator I had. However, for this kind of stuff it works just great. <laughs>
Alright, tap it in. Keep going. Harder. Keep going. No more. Good. All right, how do you like working on a pipe crew? Yeah. It works. It works. That's good. We just put another joint of pipe in. We've got good fall to it. Uh, I'm going to get back on the tractor, dig some more. I thought about digging, you know, the whole thing, but it's much easier for me to dig, you know, 12, 15 feet at a time, put another joint of pipe in. That way, you know, you don't get to the end and realize you left the high spot in the middle or something. You know what I mean? So I like to just put one joint in at a time. Just the way I like to do it. Okay. But I was telling them before, Melissa, this is that Schedule 40, the good stuff. Uh, you know, that sewer and drain pipe is what a lot of people use for downspouts. But being right here, not really deep. I like having this in the ground. Put that 2A limestone on it, and you could drive a loaded triaxle over top of this as soon as it's backfilled, and you're not going to hurt it. It'll be good. So Melissa found a flaw for the whole design here of the building and uh, I didn't take this into consideration. You want to explain it the way it is? I explained it Saturday night on my Saturday Night Live on my channel, Morgan's Off a Leash. The sound comes from that straightaway of the road and then there's this straightaway of the road and there's a sharp bend at the end of our driveway and it just... It's the sound coming from and, that direction yeah. is kind of bouncing off the building. Now, when you're standing on this side over yeah. here, it's totally quiet. But when you're right over there by the house, oh, absolutely, it yeah. is. So we'll plant some trees or do something there. But like I said, when you're over here, uh -huh. like by the patio, you can't even hear it. And this time of day right now, it's everyone's on their way home from work. It's real busy this time of day. After this, it dies way down. And on the weekends, especially like Sunday morning, there's like, you can go 10 minutes without a car. But right. this time of day, a lot of people are heading home. But you... You build well pads and sites, Mike. I'm sure you could come up with some super duper. We do sound have sound for. walls. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. That's what they're called. Sound and I walls. mean, you went all out and got the grade A pipe, which is most important to park a traxa, traxel, triaxle <laughs> on top of. I think you should definitely go with sound walls. So, one more thing worth to mention before we go back to work. Melissa's video the other day with. Uh, Hunter doing his review is a big hit. If you didn't see that, you got to check it out. He did a great job. Yeah. So, you know, you can refer to Hunter Morgan as the HRR director. What's that stand for? Hunter's rating and review. Rating and review. I like it. Yeah. Kind of like HR, but better. Yeah, that's you got an extra R. It's like if the FBI gives you an extra I. <laughs>
tomorrow they're saying the weather's supposed to be just as nice as today, maybe even a little bit nicer, which I don't even think is possible. It's, it's been, been really a nice. beautiful day. Great weather we've been having. But do uh, you have anything you want to add before we wrap this video up? No, I think I already reminded you to go check out Morgan's Off the Leash. That's my channel, and you'll see Hunter's most recent video. Yeah, check that out. And I think that's it for today's video. So like we always say, if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.